Taurus, this is Marishi and Machan Chaluka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which wanted to come through for this week. We've got a star card as a first card. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Central to reading is a Hermit. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse as your last card. Behind the deck is a Hierophant in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse when I broke the deck. Now. Okay. Uh, some of you Taurians out there might be dealing with an Aquarius, with a Virgo person, with a Hermit card up there, with any air sign person. Uh, could be an Aries or a Taurus person. Okay. Moving on. You were seeking for answers in regards to how things would turn out. You're really wishing for things to turn out one way. You're hoping for that, but it seems like you're losing faith over the situation. Okay? Because you don't see the potential of things turning out the way you want. That is unfortunate, but this is how I'm seeing it. Because with the star card as a plus card, it speaks about it speaks about your wishes, your dreams, whatever. Okay? This is what I want. This is how it should be. Okay, because we are looking at the Queen of Swords in reverse. It's almost like you're hell-bent over making things happen the way you want. You want to manifest things and it has to be the way you want it. It's almost like um, kind of manipulative, kind of selfish, kind of irrational, illogical. Because why I say that all is because you do see, you do understand how much ever you're going to try, how much ever you don't want to say things for what it is. There is not much of a hope there. There is not much of a potential there with the Seven of Cups. You know for a fact, okay? You know for a fact, uh, you cannot be optimistic about this. For some reason, you're losing your faith over this whole dream of yours. You were praying for things to work your way, to turn out the way you wanted to, but once you have assessed the whole situation, okay, the hermit is literally shining the lamp in the darkness. You've got your answers. You have got your answers in regards to this dream of yours. You are not optimistic anymore because you know how things will turn out. And that is affecting you somehow as well. Knowing there is no, not much of a hope in there is literally turning your aura. Is literally turning your um, behavioral attitude towards, I don't know, the situation or the people around you or whatever. Okay? Because you're coming through as the queen of swords here in reverse, which is kind of very negative. Okay, to be in that mental state is, is, is a little toxic, is a little unhealthy to be in. Because the way you're thinking is, um, is not nice. Hmm? But yet, knowing there is not much hope in there, you're losing your faith and you don't want, you come into this um, surrendering phase. Okay? You're losing your faith over this, uh, this whole situation. You don't have much hope, but yet you're surrendering to it. And I don't feel like you're giving up. Does that make sense? It's, it's not surrendering that, you know, okay, I, I understand. It's over. No, it's not like that. It's almost like surrendering, but you're still hanging in there. Hmm? It's almost like you're still in the process of making a decision. How things, I still need to see how things will turn out. That is a negative element in your reading with this Queen of Swords. I still want to see where it will go. What if things will turn out? I know for a fact there is not much um, potential in there, but still, 
I want to hang in there. How does that sound to you? Hmm? Because uh, with this hand sent in reverse, things have already collapsed. That foundation which you're still hanging on to, which is kind of hopeless, you're still holding on to this. The foundation could be anything, it could be a relationship, it could be a marriage, it could be a work situation, whatever it is. That, that foundation has collapsed. Hmm? There is no stability there. There is no security there. There is no long run there. Okay? You have assessed this. You're not being stupid. You, you know this for a fact. Okay? You lost faith. But the only, my only problem with you guys is you're surrendering to this. It's almost like I will leave it up to the gods. The gods might have already answered you. See, I don't want to rub it in, but you know, it's 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 so clear, okay, with these two cards, it's it's definitely not my story here. Okay? It's just a card speaking out to you. And I cannot make it make it up. I, I don't have anything with you. I don't have uh, it's only my brother and my family who's a Torian and he, he has nothing to do with this story. Sorry. I don't know any any other Torian in my life. Hmm? With these ten of pentacles, it's everything has collapsed. Everything has collapsed. There is no future in this. I don't know for whom this is because there is this repetitive. Um, uh, I I can't remember the previous stories, but I feel like okay. I only read the comments. I don't even edit my uh, recordings, but I feel like. Um, from the comments which I've seen in the readings, probably it, it was negative for the last two weeks as well. This is negative. Maybe I'll put it in the in the description so you don't have to watch it. Yeah, so it's not a clickbait for anybody to keep watching. I don't want you to do that. If it's it's difficult for you to listen to me, don't watch this. No click off. But I don't have a choice rather than just you know, convey it. Because this is a story which is, you know, its own record. Maybe somebody really needs to know this. Really needs to start, um, you know, accepting. Because they are in denial. They are literally in denial. There is a hope for you wanting to release yourself, okay? This is this is the way you're approaching things. Okay, I will surrender to the situation. That way I can heal my heart. I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave it up to God. How many of you are doing that? You just don't like what uh, how things are right now, okay? Just breaking the deck, four of cups. This this was speaking out. You just don't like how uh, how the situation is right now. Hmm? Everything about this is all right, okay? It's just plain and clear. But I don't like this energy in here. Some of you might be dealing with a strong um, air sign person or your being in this position. This is your way of dealing with things. Not You think in your head you're completely surrendering to the situation, but are you really surrendering to the situation? Are you really letting go? You're still holding on. That is a toxicity which is rubbing in your, in your reading. The way you're thinking. You're still trying to, you know, Consciously, you're saying, no, I'm not going to do anything about it. But subconsciously, you're still clinging on to this negativity. You still want to fix things. You still want to go back to this, uh, whoever it is, okay, where there is no hope. You're still thinking about this. You're still tied down. 
Hmm? It's still tied down. You have to say more. Yeah, I don't want to actually. Let's take the smallest of yes. Yes, the illusions. This is going to stop you. See, the Harrison in reverse, Prince of Wands. You, you feel like you're a little illusion. You're not seeing the clarity of things. You're still trying to make it work with, you know, you have this passion to drive. Uh, you're driven. You're driven like that. Yeah. For you, this Hierophant hasn't fallen apart. Not yet. Even if it has, you're not willing to accept it. Okay. Because it was your dream after all. It was never supposed to fall apart in the first place. So you're going to do everything in your power. You know, you're very action oriented. Even if you want to step back, you still, you're focused on that itself. It's almost like a horse with the blinders on. You cannot distract yourself anyhow. See? You're sitting pretty to the world. You're telling the, telling the people around you, I'm over it. I'm not even thinking about it. But hangman in reverse. You are confused. You're lost. This lady who's putting up a facade is literally losing their mind thinking about what's going on. You just can't think clearly. Even with that sun card in reverse. Where is it now? Yeah, sun card in reverse. You just don't know how to see things. How much of it is clear, you just don't want to accept that reality of how things are. You're just carrying the burden. It's, it's, it's a cross which you're carrying around. It's, it's very heavy. It's weighing you down. It's not going to help you out. But you're willing to carry it. However, it seems like it's not working out. It might be a third party in, uh, involved as well. You're just trying to console yourself. It's okay. Everything is going to be alright. You know, it's, it's that kind of a surrender. You now, hoping for the best because you're still dreaming about this. You're still hoping for things to get better. You're still fixated over this star card of yours. And it's not easy for you to let go. It's just not easy for you to let go. Okay? You're fixated over fixing it. Having it all back again. Yes. You're fixated over succeeding. It's almost like eventually you want to say, I told you so. I knew it. And we are going to be together again. Nobody believed me. But I knew. Things are going to, you know, go the way I, I wished for. I knew it all along. That is why I'm showing you the hangman here and the sun card in reverse. Hangman and reverse is somebody who can't just have their thinking straight. They are not yet coming to that clarity. Some of you might be dealing with another earth sign. This is how you feel. Okay? This is like a person who might have betrayed you. Literally betrayed you. You might feel dead beat with what, it, what they have done. Okay? There is strong earth sign energy and air sign energy in your reading. But you doing, you are playing up as the much more mature person. Like, okay, they did that to me, but I'm going to be the bigger person. Okay, I'm going to do the right thing. To the king of swords. There is a need to really uh, let go of 
what is not serving you. Okay? There is a need to move on. Okay? Make that decision to really, you know, have that wisdom. Have that wisdom. If this is your situation, this is how it is, and you are still waiting upon it, it will, you know, it will actually hit a nerve. Because if it's not your story, then you're like, ah, she might be sp uh, speaking to someone else. You don't have to bother. But if, it, if this is really your story, then it will click. You know, that tube there will click. Okay. Eight of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Move on. Let go. Whatever you are holding tightly to, it's not worth it. Let go of it and move on with your life. Okay? Because there are other people who is involved in a story already. Yeah? Stop trying to make it work. It's really, stop trying to make it work. It's not in your control anymore. Yes. It's just, it's just, it's just what I'm saying. We have pentacles in reverse. You cannot nurture this anymore. Let it slip past. Even with that four of pentacles in reverse. Let it slip through. It's not in your hold anymore. Understand that. Stop investing your time and effort in this. Not worth it. Yes. Surrender to the damn situation. Like already. It's not worth the fight. What are you actually fighting for in the first place? It's, a, it's literally a failed cause. Hmm? Heal from the situation. It's really, heal from the situation. The way past uh, coming to that decision. But you've got to surrender to this. Okay? You've taken enough time. Make that decision. Okay? You gotta move on with your life. And stand. You know? Rebel for yourself. Don't be in that energy. Like the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's that's totally toxic. That's totally it's never going to serve you right. With the Princess of Pentacles and the Princess of Swords, you're literally giving me a headache now. Okay? Just stand your ground. Okay? Stand your ground and be done with something which is already dead. Yes. This is very... These, these cards are very uh, like confirming it. It's almost rubbing it in. Yes. Oh my God. Can you see that? The devil card in reverse. That's all. Dead card in reverse for me, it's like six feet under the ground. There is no point digging it. You know, you, you literally laid the dead body under the ground and you have buried it. You have put the tombstone a tombstone over it. It's, it's confirmed. It's dead. But now, you're literally digging it out, wanting to check whether, you know, you can resurrect it. Is it practical? It's, it's going to be, what you're going to find is a decomposed body. Worms and maggots coming out. It's going to stink. It's just not worth it. You need to understand, even with the uh, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, this horse is literally dead for me. This horse has no intention to go anywhere. Even if you try to whack it to, you know, move another step, no, it's not going to because it's already dead. That's why I say it's just rubbing it in. It's a dead horse. It has no destination anymore. The devil card in reverse for you is like, you know, break the chains. You know, you might be bound by the chains of this negative situation, of this toxic situation. They are asking you to cut the cords. You cannot be in this dead situation anymore. How, how, how much further have, should I keep going with this? <coughs> Stop 
trying to put in the effort okay of trying to take it further like trying to manifest it thinking there is still a potential in this two of cups and reverse you might have had something with this person once upon a time it's not there anymore how much ever you try that's why they're asking you to do your world might have come down i'm not going to look any further i'm done with you guys sorry yeah it's literally boring me telling you the same thing again hmm? work out in reverse it's like things have just fell apart okay i understand your world has come apart you know your world has literally shattered after that two of cups in reverse happened but then you, you got to accept you know th this reading is mainly for somebody out there who's in denial nothing else nothing else somebody who wants to show the world i am cool with it i'm okay with it i have moved on with my life but have you really cuz i feel from your reading you're still holding on what if things will still manifest subconsciously you're still stuck there this reading is only for them who is in this denial mode also up here this is marisha you want to chat for local until next week bye bye